Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Please excuse if my voice sounds a little weird. I have a stuffy nose and I also literally just woke up. As you can tell, I'm still in my pajamas. So fun, excited, super excited for today's video. It is day one of the reading rush. So time to kill myself for an entire week trying to read a book every single day and finish a book every day. Probably not gonna happen knowing me, but we're gonna try anyways. So I'm having breakfast right now, having some yogurt, granola, and fruits, have some watermelon, I can't even pick it up, watermelon and a Red Bull to keep me up. I was too lazy to make coffee, so I'm having a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, okay, so a couple things today. I'm gonna show you guys my TBR for the rest of the week. I decided to not film a separate video for that because I did try to film one and it ended up, I was a complete mess. So we're gonna try that again today and I'm just gonna include it in this video. Let me show you guys my first book, I guess. So the challenge for today is to read a book that cover matches your birthstone. I don't know if I said that right. But anyway, um, my birthstone is turquoise. I was born in December. But before I show you guys the book, I just want to put this out there that I did research like my birthstone and I saw two more birthstones, I guess not really used, but they're still like December birthstones and one of them was a darker shade of blue. So I decided to pick up Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel for this. So yeah, this morning I decided to read a little bit. I read 30 pages and... I read a couple more pages while I was eating breakfast. Loving it so far. This is about a pandemic, so a little nervous because we are in the middle of a pandemic. Don't know if this was the smartest idea to read about a pandemic while I'm in the middle of a pandemic. Take a shot every time I say pandemic. And I'm also super anxious. Oh well, yeah, the first few chapters had me super stressed already so this book follows a traveling group 20 years after the pandemic hit and kind of started and they just travel around performing um plays and musicals and all that fun stuff because civilization has essentially come to an end and they're trying to find some light i guess in this devastating time and they dedicate themselves to trying to keep art and everything like that alive so i think it's super interesting i'm very excited did win an award so i'm expecting great things out of this also please excuse my little pinky finger i had some acrylics on and i was taking them off myself never do this guys because this is horrible um i it took me three days to take all of them out because it hurts so much but when I was taking out the last one, I literally ripped off um, the top half of my nail. So now I have like half a nail on this pinky finger and it hurts so much. So don't do that at home, kids. Just don't, okay. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna continue eating breakfast and then I'll update you guys, I guess, throughout the day. After I eat breakfast, I'm gonna go get ready so I don't look like a hot mess. And I'm gonna keep reading, update you guys on the book and all that fun stuff and then show you guys my tbr alrighty well see you guys in a bit hey guys so i think it's been like three hours since i last talked to you life update reading update i have not read since i last said hello to you that is because i was on a call with my best friend from back home who i haven't spoken to on the phone in months it's been so long since we've talked on the phone so yeah after i was on a call with my best friend i'll insert some photos i think i took a photo of us on call um after that i quickly spoke to my madre and just updated her on my life as well it was a super quick call normally we speak for like hours but i told her i'm like i have stuff to do i need to read so I'm sorry mom but we're gonna end the call here yeah i guess that's my life update for you guys so i'm gonna get back to reading i'm still on page like 37 so that was where i last that's where i left off when i last spoke to you all so i'm gonna read hopefully i can get to page like 100 before it's 2 30 and i have to like go somewhere but again 
so I'm not sure if that's happening or not. Um, my nose is still very stuffy, so yeah, that's all. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get back to reading and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty everyone, welcome to my floor. Don't ask me why I'm sitting on the floor, but I am. I should probably close this so you don't see my mess of the cabinet. So okay, let me quickly go through my TBR for this week. So as you all know, for day one, I am reading Station Eleven. This is the Birthstone Challenge. So tomorrow, it's read a book that starts with the word the. For this, I'm going to read The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. It's a pretty short book. This is a book I've been wanting to read for so long, and I thought it was just perfect to read this during the reading rush because it is a short book and I should be able to get through it in a day. So yeah, that's for day two. Don't ask me what it's about because I have absolutely no idea what this book is about. We're going into it blind, people, and that's the best, honestly, when you go into a book not knowing what to expect and it truly just takes you by surprise. I really, I really do enjoy that, going into books and just, like, I, I know what, I know it's a good book, I know what people have said about it, but I don't really know what the book is about. Love that. So, yeah, that's for tomorrow. The next challenge is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. So for this, ugh, this book is so big. I'm gonna read Carrie. So I know this is a, a really big book. Carrie is not this long. This is just a collection of some of Stephen King's um, works. So we've got Carrie, The Shining, and Salem's Lot. So I have read The Shining. Nope, that's Carrie. I have read The Shining. I have not read Carrie and Salem's Lot. So I'm excited to finally read Carrie. I am a huge Stephen King fan and I can't believe I haven't read Carrie. I did watch the, um, newest remake of the movie. I watched the newest one. I've seen clips of the older one, but I've watched the newer one. Loved it. So I'm excited to read the book. So yeah, it is a pretty short book. It's only like 180 pages, so I should be able to get through it super quickly as well. I also love this um, edition. It's so pretty. It is not mine, I'm borrowing it, it's my god sister's, but I just love it, it's so cool. The art on the cover is so pretty, and the like pages are so hard, it's so cool. I love this, wish it was mine. Look at the back too, so cool. Anyway, I'm just excited to read Carrie, finally get that checked off my books by Stephen King, I need to read list. <laughs> he is probably, honest to god, one of my favorite horror slash thriller writers so probably should read one of his most popular works Alrighty, so yeah that's this book so the next challenge is read the first book you touch so for this i have two options so the book that i picked for this was one of us is lying by karen m mcmanus so i didn't have a process for picking this book i just randomly picked this because this is one of the books my mom sent me from the Philippines and the other book she sent me I'm currently lending to my uncle. So I just thought like this is probably the most different of the books on my shelf because I didn't buy it and it was sent to me, you know, by my mom. So I picked this one just because it was different. So that's kind of what I did. I have read one of this author's books. It, was the one about twins, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the title, but I, I did enjoy it. It was a, an okay book, and I went through it pretty quickly, so that's why I thought I'd be able to get through this book pretty quickly as well in, like, just a day. In case I don't finish any of the books that I, like, that I'll be reading prior to this one, I'll just randomly pick one of those books to finish on this day. Otherwise, if I have finished all those books, then I will go ahead and just read One of Us is Lying. So fun very I'm really really think I'm gonna be able to get through all this I'm really overreaching over here anyway moving on oh also plot wise not 100% sure I just know it's a mystery so yeah okay moving on the next challenge is read a book completely outside of your house so this one's gonna be a little bit hard because um, 
I don't really go outside and there's nowhere in my house to really read outside and it's also been super hot lately so I just like don't want to so what I'm gonna do for this is I have two options book wise as well so before the reading rush um, started I was reading red white and royal blue by Casey McQuinston so if ever I'll probably pick this up on that day and read it and probably like finish it if I can if not whatever book I haven't finished yet from all the other challenges I will pick that up and read on that day and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like set up my room to have a very outdoorsy feel to it so I'll have like my windows open and I'll have some like photos on my laptop and whatnot yeah I'm just gonna pick up a random book for that day I don't really have a set book for that day and I'm just gonna set up my room to look like the outside so fun okay moving on next challenge the next challenge is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. So <clears throat> for this, I was choosing between nonfiction, a biography or memoir, or a graphic novel. So those are like three genres that I don't read much of, but this year I have been reading a lot more nonfiction. So I decided, you know, since I've been dipping my toes into that genre, maybe I won't do that for the uh, reading rush and then I thought I'd do a memoir but I looked at my bookshelf and I don't own any memoirs which is so wild because I have so many that I want to read but I just don't own any then I had gone to Barnes and Noble a couple of I think it was like a week ago or something to pick up a couple of books and I ended up picking up a graphic novel so that's what we're gonna read we're gonna do graphic novel instead um, this one is called Sheets by Brenna Thumler don't know what it's about as well but I do love the color palette I love the muted tones um, the pinks the blue so fun I'm really excited for this one it looks like lots of fun I love the art so yeah I honest to god cannot remember the last graphic novel that I read I think it was like Tintin back in grade like eight or something and I haven't read another graphic novel since so yeah, I really want to change that. I really should read more graphic novels because they're so much fun and I love the art. So yeah, we're going to read this for um, that day. Definitely will be able to get through this in a day, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, cool. Alrighty. Last challenge. I don't have the um, physical copy of this book yet. It's being shipped to me, but I should get it today. Very excited for that. We'll show you guys when it does come in the mail. This challenge is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. So for this, I chose Enigma Variations by Andrea Simon. So I'll insert like a photo here of what it looks like. Um, I know this takes place in Italy, so very excited for that. Don't know what the plot is about. Are we surprised? I didn't know what the plot was about for like half of these books. So I... Uh, no, it's some love story. It's Andrea Simon, so obviously it's some love story. I'm so excited to read this. I love Andrea Simon so much. His writing is absolutely phenomenal. He is one of my favorite authors ever. Call Me By Your Name. I have reread that so many times because I love it so much. So beautiful. His writing is so beautiful. It, it really does something to you, and it makes you feel things that just... What? truly transports you and it's just so beautiful so i'm so excited to finally read another of his works i've only read two of his books call me by your name and find me and they both follow the same characters and the same sort of story i guess so i'm excited to see um how his writing is and how i guess different it is when we follow different characters in a different setting in a whole like different plot different world so yeah i'm excited to see any similarities any differences i'm just excited to read another one of his books because they're so beautiful so beautiful i was trying to find the audiobook for it because the audiobook for call me by your name was narrated by army hammer gorgeous chef's kiss on that audiobook i highly recommend it and the find me audiobook is narrated by the actor that plays the dad in um the call me by your name movie haven't listened to it yet but i will one day but yeah i was trying to find the audiobook for enigma variations on libby you let me down libby they don't have it so 
little little sad about that. Actually, a lot of these books I wanted the audiobook for, and some of them are not on Libby, or some of them are gonna take like 10 weeks, so <laughs> I'm struggling here. I love to have audiobooks in me when I do uh, readathons, but it's okay. I have the audiobook for like the bluest eye, and that's it. Oh well, sucks to suck, I guess, for me. So yeah, that's my TBR. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through all these books, but I will try my best. I feel like I'm super behind already on um, Station Eleven because I haven't even reached 50 pages and it's already like 130. I'm slacking, slacking off, off. gang. Uh, I need to get, I need to read. I need to just like put all my technology away because I keep getting distracted, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go get back to reading, and I will see you guys later. I really want to finish this book today. I really am loving it so far, and I really hope I will be able to finish it today, because otherwise I will feel so unmotivated for the next following days if I can't even finish one book on the first day. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later then. Hey guys, so I'm um, taking a break from reading to update you guys. My package came in. Um, 100% sure this is Enigma variation, so we'll do a little unboxing. Why don't I fix this angle? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's way better. So here we go, so excited. Uh, was so worried that this was not gonna arrive on time because They've, um, Book Depository is taking kind of a while on their deliveries, but it's okay. Understandable, because Corona. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this beauty. Okay, well, it's a little bent over here, but that's okay. My little dog eared over here. It's okay, I'm not too mad about it, honestly. My, it's... The book would have ended up like that in my possession anyway. I'm so excited to read this. How many pages is it? 266 pages. So definitely think I'll be able to finish this in a day. Wow. It smells great. I'm so happy. Has some pretty decent flop to it too. Wow, I'm so happy. I love this cover too. I love the pink. So pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to reading. It is 3.30 right now, by the way. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to finish this book. We'll just try and read as much of it as I possibly can. And if I can't finish it, that's okay. I will not beat myself up over it. I will try to not beat myself up over it. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to reading already. See you guys. Hey guys, so it's 7 p.m. right now. Um, I took a break from reading at around 5.45 because I reached the halfway point of Station Eleven, so I'm halfway done with the book. Um, I've been editing the video, the vlog um, for today, so I can have it out by the end of the day. And yeah, that's that's my update for you guys. That's all the interesting stuff that's happened in the past hour. So I'm gonna stop editing and I'm gonna get back to reading and I'm gonna have dinner in like an hour. So not really exciting, but yeah, I'll update you guys, I guess, on where I am in the book. I am loving the plot so far, very interesting. I love the fact that it takes us from before everything happened and after it's all happened. Very interesting stuff. So yeah, loving the book keep you guys updated and I'll see you guys in a bit oh my goodness I am tired y'all <laughs> it is 9 50 p.m. right now um please excuse the lighting I only have one lamp in my room and it's not the best so yeah sorry about that anyway uh I guess quick little life and reading update since I last spoke to you guys I ate dinner I had some lasagna delicious i didn't make the lasagna it was one of those like frozen foods you buy swell reading update i reached page 260 in um station 11 
loving the book so far, but I am definitely exhausted from reading all day. So I'm contemplating whether I want to finish this tonight or read like a couple more pages and then just wake up early and finish it in the morning because I have like 80 something pages left before the book is done. So yeah, anyway, you guys will find out tomorrow because I am actually ending the vlog here since it is pretty late and I don't have anything more to say. This is uh, the end of Reading Rush Day 1. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. Uh, tomorrow, I definitely don't want to spend as much time reading as I did today. And I don't think I will because the book I'm reading tomorrow is a lot shorter. I just feel guilty because there is some work that I wanted to get done today that I put aside to read. So I'm going to try and not do that tomorrow and get some work done. So yeah, cool. Um, Alrighty. Have a good, you know, Monday, everyone, and I will see you all in my next video, essentially tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> Please subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, let me know down below if you guys are joining the reading rush as well, and, you know, what your TBR is, and all that fun stuff, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.